Welcome back to the Finance Homefront, your go-to place for all things finance and investment. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our insightful content. I'm Bev, and today, we've got something special in store for you. But before we dive in, let me remind you that your engagement truly matters. Your feedback helps shape the content we create, making it more tailored to what you want to see. In the ever-evolving landscape of cryptocurrency, one phenomenon has caught the attention of both enthusiasts and opportunistic criminals alike. Bitcoin ATMs, or BTMs. These plain kiosks, resembling traditional ATMs, have become a prominent avenue for buying and, in some cases, selling crypto tokens with cash. The BTM industry experienced an explosive surge in popularity between 2020 and mid-2022, reaching a peak of 34,000 installations across the US. This surge wasn't solely fueled by crypto enthusiasts. Scammers and money launderers also seized the opportunity. Brandon Mintz, CEO of Bitcoin Depot, the leading BTM operator in the US, attributes the surge in BTM usage to the increased time people spent at home during the pandemic. As interest and adoption in crypto soared, these kiosks became a tangible and accessible way for individuals to invest in digital assets. Despite Bitcoin's market fluctuations, Bitcoin Depot reported a robust Q2, with earnings reaching approximately $197.5 million, showcasing a 17.5% increase from the past year. Bitcoin Depot's success is indicative of a broader trend where BTMs are not merely seen as investment tools, but as alternatives to traditional finance, particularly for the underbanked or unbanked populations. An August 2023 survey by Bitcoin Depot revealed that nearly 40% of 625 users used BTM for peer-to-peer -peer transactions, such as cross-border payments or sending money to loved ones. Over 25% used the machines for online purchases. While the BTM industry's annual revenue is estimated at over $3.6 billion, the fees associated with these transactions contribute significantly to operators' earnings. Common commissions for buying Bitcoin at BTMs range from 15 to 16 percent, excluding additional flat fees. Despite the higher fees compared to online exchanges, the convenience of BTMs attracts a growing customer base. To delve deeper into the economic dynamics, it's crucial to understand the unique positioning of BTMs. Bitcoin Depot, for instance, has reported a lack of correlation between its business performance and the price fluctuations of Bitcoin. This suggests that customers using BTMs have different intentions for their purchases compared to those using online exchanges. The convenience and accessibility offered by BTMs, regardless of market conditions, make them a preferred choice for a diverse range of users. However, the popularity of BTMs has a dark side, attracting scammers and money launderers. Concerns have been raised about identity scams, romance scams, and heists involving fraudulent access to crypto accounts. The irreversible nature of blockchain transactions makes it challenging for victims to recover funds once sent. The quick transaction process at BTMs taking only 30 to 60 seconds, aligns with scammers' objectives, adding urgency to their fraudulent schemes. In response to the rise in scams, BTM operators have implemented warnings on their machines to educate users about potential risks. The use of AI by criminals, especially in targeting vulnerable seniors through elaborate schemes, further emphasizes the need for awareness and caution. While the BTM industry has witnessed significant growth, it has also drawn regulatory scrutiny. Operators are required to register as money transmitters and comply with federal anti-money laundering regulations. However, cases of non-compliance persist, leading to indictments and legal action. In 2022, the Manhattan District Attorney indicted a Bitcoin ATM operator for operating an unregistered money transmitter and tax fraud. 
The operator exploited the anonymity of BTMs, converting over $5.6 million in cash into Bitcoin across 46 locations. Lack of consumer protections and anti-money laundering measures facilitated money laundering schemes. Despite federal regulations, each state may have its own set of rules, creating a patchwork for regulatory landscapes. The variation in state approaches poses challenges for operators looking to navigate the complex regulatory environment effectively. Some states have embraced the burgeoning industry with more lenient regulations, while others have adapted a more cautious stance. As the industry matures, addressing criminal activities becomes paramount. Larger players, such as Bitcoin Depot, are acquiring smaller operators not only for business expansion but also to ensure compliance. Consolidation within the industry signals a shift toward competitiveness and adherence to regulatory requirements. Despite the challenges and the dominance of established players, there is still room for smaller operators to thrive. Upstarts can either grow in scale or become attractive investment opportunities. The industry's future hinges on striking a balance between growth, compliance, and consumer protection. Furthermore, the industry is witnessing a shift in focus from merely complying with regulations to outperforming competitors. Up-and-coming players are grappling with questions of business viability, competition with larger, more established entities, and market entry strategies. The regulatory landscape and competitive dynamics are evolving, presenting both challenges and opportunities for those looking to enter or expand within the BTM space. In this competitive landscape, strategies for success are multifaceted. Beyond regulatory compliance, operators are exploring ways to differentiate themselves and attract a broader customer base. The incorporation of advanced technologies, user-friendly interfaces, and value-added services are becoming key differentiators. Bitcoin Depot strategy, post its public listing, includes acquiring smaller Bitcoin ATM operators. This not only contributes to industry consolidation, but also addresses the challenges faced by smaller operators in ensuring compliance. The acquisition trend is reflective of the broader market dynamics, where larger players leverage their resources and market presence to solidify their positions. Moreover, the industry is witnessing a paradigm shift in how operators approach customer education and fraud prevention. With warnings displayed on BTMs and dedicated customer support teams trained to identify potential scams, operators are actively engaging in safeguarding their users. The challenge lies in staying ahead of increasingly sophisticated scam tactics. While federal regulations provide a foundational framework for BTM operators, the role of state regulations cannot be understated. State-level variations in licensing requirements, reporting obligations, and compliance standards create a complex regulatory environment. Operators must navigate this intricacy, which can be particularly challenging for those eyeing expansion into multiple states. My sense is there's an enormous variation between the different states in terms of how they look at this problem. Some states, not quite as many yet. It's sort of all over the map. Understanding and adhering to state-specific regulations are crucial for operators seeking to establish a robust presence. Legal experts and industry advocates are increasingly calling for a more standardized and cohesive regulatory approach to ensure consistency and facilitate smoother operations. The trajectory of the Bitcoin ATM industry raises intriguing questions about its future and the challenges that lie ahead. As technology evolves and user preferences shift, operators need to stay agile to adapt to changing market dynamics. The industry's resilience and capacity to innovate will play a pivotal role in reshaping its trajectory. One of the challenges on the horizon is finding the delicate balance between innovation and compliance. While technological advancements enhance user experience and security, they also introduce new challenges for regulators. Striking this balance will be essential for the sustainable growth of the BTM industry. 
The Bitcoin ATM boom reflects the dynamic nature of the crypto space, presenting opportunities for financial inclusion, but also posing challenges related to scams and regulatory adherence. As the industry navigates these complexities, it remains an intriguing and evolving facet of the broader cryptocurrency landscape. The BTM industry's journey encompasses explosive growth, criminal exploits, regulatory scrutiny, and strategies for industry consolidation. Operators are at the forefront of addressing these challenges, reshaping their approaches to compliance, fraud prevention, and customer education. The coalescence of federal and state regulations technological innovation, and market dynamics will determine the industry's future course. And there you have it, another eye-opening video on finance homefront. If you found this information valuable, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. We are here to share knowledge and insights, but remember, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a financial professional before making any decisions. See you in the next video.